Hello and welcome to a very special edition of CNET's Holidays Buyer Guide. How are you? My name is Jeff Backler. We are coming to you live from our studios here in New York. I am joined by CNET senior editors Bridget Carey and I is Akhtar. We're also very lucky to be joined by CNET's Mr. Cheapskate himself, Rick Broida came all the way over here just to beat me up over that digital picture frame <laughs> nonsense from last time. Thanks for coming here, Rick. Thank you for having me. I'm right. delighted. Excellent. So, picture frame baggage. Yeah, a lot of baggage here with Rick. We're going to get through it. <laughs> all right. Well, there are a few things that will make today's broadcast special. Rick is going to share several CNET exclusive deals to help you snag some good prices on last minute tech gifts. And then Ayaz is going to give a rundown of his hottest smart home products for the holidays. And I'm going to break down some of my favorite tech toys for the kitties and also us grown adults who still play with toys. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to be answering your holiday gift, toy, and other questions, like all tech questions, live at the Twitter hashtag CNETLive. So if you have any gift questions, don't be shy. Just tweet us away. Yes, please. We're, we're giving away, as if that wasn't incentive enough, we're giving away 10 free Spiro Mini Robots. That's right, 10 lucky viewers will have a chance to win one of these. If you want a shot at one of these fantastic little robot thingies to scare your dog with, uh, all you have to do is follow us on uh, Twitter. We're uh, at CNET on Twitter. And tweet at us with the hashtag CNET Holiday. That's one word. Now, here's a little bit of legalese for you. We can only offer this... Uh, if you're based in the U.S. and Canada, you've got to be 18 years or older. There's no purchase necessary, but why would there? It's Twitter. And if you love reading fine print, go check out the rules at cnet.co slash holiday rules. Okay, Mr. Rick, let's get to the deals. What do you have for us right now, sir? Right, let's start with some audio. So. Hey. I'm the cheapskate, okay? I'm not going to spend three, four hundred dollars on a pair of Beats. No, of course it's not. Not, not going to happen, okay? <laughs> yeah. Now, at the other end, you get the twenty, thirty dollar earbuds that, uh, you know, not really great. They're okay. But we need something in the middle, right? Yeah. Something that's uh, affordable, but also sounds really good. And that's what I've got here. These are made by One More, and these are called the Triple Driver Earbuds. And they kind of occupy that special place in between Beats and Dirt Cheap. Uh, That's so, a huge gap. Well, it is a, it is a big gap. <laughs> uh, yeah. So normally, uh, these are a triple driver, which okay. is better it's than good. dual driver, because yeah. that's two and this is three. Mm -hmm. right? Following along. <laughs> <Math is laughs> normally, good. these are 100 bucks. Uh, the viewers today can get these for 75 with code CNET25. Wow. Uh, and actually, that code will work on everything on the One More site. So there's actually a quad driver version of this, normally 200, 150 with the code. And, um, you know, I got a chance to listen to these earlier. And, you know, again, I'm not a fidelity guy. I really don't really care that much, but they sound terrific. They've they, got the inline mic. They stay in your ear. Stay in your ear. They come with like, 10 different sets of, of ear tips, including the, the foam ones that give you that really good seal. Mm -hmm. Comes with a splitter. I like the I'm a really cool box. Love guy. the box. What do you, what do you prefer? Um, normally, I just go for like the kind of silicone ones, yeah. but if you really want to block out the sound, seal. yeah, you get like that, like like an earplug would give you. Yeah. Um, so it comes with those as well. So Excellent. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, for 75 bucks. What about on ear? Anything? Because yeah. like, I'm not about the earbuds. I nothing fits in my ear. Right. So you know, what's your what's your guys' general preference? Like you go in ear, on ear, in, in the in the ear hole. In the hole. In, yeah. Okay. In the hole. Well, mostly what I see are people, the, the kids nowadays. Uh, they like the on ear headphones. And again, there's always a huge price range with these. But today we've got these Diskin DH3 on ear headphones. I got which, them on my laptop here. There we go. So um, oh, they, look. they look really nice. They're very stylish, very comfortable. And normally they're 50 bucks, which is actually a, kind of a great deal already. Snazzy. But uh, today you can get them for just 25 bucks with the code no, like CNET Love. We'll drop those down to 25 CNET bucks. CNET Love. Yeah. And these Aww. are, so these are Bluetooth, but they also are corded. So if you, if you really don't want that loss of Fidelity from sure. Bluetooth compression, you can jack in as soon as you have a headphone jack to plug them into. Um, well, yeah, I, I actually, I think because of everything with the changes of the of the adapters and the whatnot, that everyone's kind of putting headphones on their list higher than they were before. Absolutely, absolutely. So for twenty five bucks, this is this is really a great gift item. It looks like you spent a lot more than you did. 
That's the best part of gift giving, <laughs> to make it look those. like you're way more thoughtful absolutely, than you really absolutely. are. Absolutely, absolutely. That's a cheapskate trick. <laughs> uh, do we have one more, or are we going to move yeah, on? Yeah, no, now? let's do yeah. one more. So, uh, Brittany, you promised you'd model <gasps> yes, these for me. Yes, I've been waiting for this Yeah, one. so these are... Um, I it doesn't matter which way, I guess. So this looks like yeah, an ordinary wintertime cap, but it's actually a Bluetooth headphone. It's yeah, embedded right into boxes. the cap. All right, All right, now that... I feel that, like... I feel like Sorry, ladies. So much cooler. Married. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> First off, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Second of all, what are there speakers? They're just speakers like it, blasting into speakers, the speakers. Yeah, right. they're, just, in they're the, just resting. In the it's, like, right. it's like there's fabric here, but can I see what's yeah. happening? Oh, sorry. Yeah, come, on, uh, come on. Interesting. And there's so, buttons like invisible. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So this is just a hat that happens to be a Bluetooth hat. Bluetooth speaker hat. Okay. Yeah. What's the sound quality like this? Yeah. So Never mind. <laughs> let me guess. <laughs> Okay, no, it's okay. Really. It it's gets okay, the job sure. done. Yeah. The idea here is that you know you're you're out walking the dog, right? And you just want to be able to listen to some music, podcast, or whatever. If you have to have in this and that, and it's, well, it's all in one. No, you, different. I like it. Different ear thingies for different situations. I yeah. don't care. I can my, yeah. my biggest yeah, concern is like uh, the music bleeding out, and uh, you know everyone around. Me I want to share it with everybody. Only though. if you flip them up, because they're pointed <laughs> at your ears. Unless ah. you just flip it. Rick, there that's a go. hidden feature. Hidden feature. Now they're speakers. <laughs> I so, want, I want, I want to look like Parappa the Rapper. Huh? <laughs> oh, there you go. Sick <laughs> reference. So the actual deal is you can actually get a two-pack of these. Okay. Uh, one for yourself, one to give away, whatever. <laughs> uh, from Yukster. I think it's Yukster. Uke, okay. Oh, the Yukster. charger is like, in there. <laughs> yeah. Can you wash these things? You I wouldn't. Actually, you can take out uh, the speaker part okay. and the cord and everything, and you can actually wash this. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So no. normally it's 30 bucks for a two pack. Oh, uh, I wanted to guess how much they were. I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, Next time. Uh, so the coupon code is CNET10 and that drops it down to 1997. Wow. So it's literally 10 bucks a piece and you know, Secret Santa, you know, Yankee Swap, great little gift item. Totally. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. impressed. So far I don't have really <laughs> anything to make fun of you about. I've never seen those before. <laughs> What's that? I've never seen that hat with Bluetooth before. I have not. I saw like this crazy Atari hat with speakers on it that made me kind of rethink everything, but. That's okay. So I walked around town, uh, New York City, last night with that on, just to kind of test it out. And I mean, let's be realistic. If it's noisy, you yeah. know, they're not super loud. Sure. But just you know, you're, when I'm walking around the neighborhood, I'm walking the dog, whatever. And it's nice and peaceful. It's great. Great. Excellent. Cool. All right. Uh, let's pivot and turn to Twitter. See what people are talking about. Again, if you want to be part of the conversation, all you need to do is use the hashtag CNET Live. Um, okay. Here are some coming in right now. We'll see. Uh, right. We'll see what we can do with this. We, I want to talk. Like, we haven't been able to do a lot of gift giving advice on, well, at least deals on mobile phones, right? But mm. we can definitely give advice on A or B, like maybe what phone you should get. A question that just came in from Julio is, "Hey, everybody, uh, I have a question. Should I get an LG V30 or an S8 Plus? These are two Android phones. Kind of feel like." For me, the S8 Plus is probably the way to go. I know a lot of people have problems with the LG screens. Mm, the LG V30 uses the same screen as the Pixel 2 XL. That's what I'm saying. And if you've ever seen those reviews for the screen, it can get pretty gritty, and Samsung makes the best OLED things for phones, so maybe they have an inside track on that. So if you care about screen quality, take this as a guy who owned and returned a Pixel 2 XL because Ooh. of this screen oh, yeah. and a couple other features that kind of stunk. Uh, I would go Samsung there. Yeah, I feel like that's the kind of move, just just to play it safe. I mean, uh, you know, that's a very highly rated phone on the CNET website, so mm -hmm. if we're just sort of judging things for what they are out of the box, maybe you side with the Samsung phone. These, these are phones that cost more than $100, right? So yes. So not really. They're not for you. No. <laughs> they're not for you, and they don't flip or clamshell. They're not. You can try to clamshell them, but it's not only they're once. They're making a flip one, aren't they? That was they might, yeah. that's what they might be. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else we got on Twitter. There's some really interesting questions that probably deal with a more personal family issue, but nevertheless, we'll get right to it. Uh, Richard wants to know, what kind of gift could I give my dad to secretly tell him I don't like him very much? This is actually a so, funny question because... No. It's deep. It's like a, it's like a prank. Richard. Like, What kind of tech gift would you give somebody to maybe undercut like... I don't think very highly of you. I don't know the Bluetooth hat sounds pretty good. <laughs> that is kind of a bird. You know, if it was a few years back, I would say Microsoft Zune. Yeah, uh, totally. But that's, that ship has sailed. Totally. Like, what would you get somebody to just be like, oh, I would thought of you, 
And when I thought of you, it was, I don't like you. <laughs> the Samsung Note 7. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> a lit view. A lit yeah. <laughs> it's a collector's item, I guess. Yeah. Oh, the reissued version. I guess you could get them something that you claim has voice activation on it. Oh, yeah, just put yes. a sticker on it. So anything, you go, oh, you just you just talk to it to pair it. And you're like, hat pair. Yeah. Pair hat. Yeah. And then there you go, okay. But then you're going to get a call. Ah, yeah, you got me this stupid hat. It doesn't work with the voice control. <laughs> <laughs> you hang up. And scene. All right. Thank That's you for good. being a part of our live interaction portion of the program. Please keep it coming. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, We'll have many more exclusive deals, and we'll also discuss the best smart home gadgets to get for the holidays. Please stay with us. CBS Thursdays. Welcome. TV's number one comedy brings you scientific breakthroughs. I can't believe you can turn ordinary skin cells into functioning brain cells. Well, I turned this one into a functioning boyfriend, so sky's the limit. Ingenious inventions. Remote control Stephen Hawking. Hey, good looking. Want to go for a spin? And whatever this is. Care for a brandy? I don't think so. Good choice. It's disgusting. Don't miss the Big Bang Theory CBS Thursdays or stream it live or on demand. Mondays, every hero. Superman likes to keep it loose in the caboose, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Needs a hero. Hurry up, idiot! And when they get together. I'm sure this is a pity job. No, not pity. We just felt sorry for you. You never know. I thrive in this environment. <laughs> what might come up? <laughs> Kevin James and Leah Remini. <laughs> in Kevin Can Wait. CBS Mondays or stream it live or on demand. What do I mean by inside look? This mirror, for example, has got a forward-looking HD camera on it right here on the side. Don't let your old printed photos collect dust in a shoebox. There are two ways to back up an iPhone. These are the top five new features in the next iOS. Oh, dude. What is a big tech user? I'm over six foot two. Hey, welcome back to CNET's Holiday Buyer's Guide. We are live. We are in New York City. My name is Jeff Bagelar. Next to me is Bridget Carey. I is Akhtar. And the CNET legend, known only as Mr. Cheapskate himself, the good doctor, Rick Broida. How are you, sir? He's a doctor? Yeah, he's a, he's a doctor. Deal doctor. Deals. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a sorcerer. I'll take it. I'll take uh, it. We want you to help us uh, give you advice. Help us help you. If you have a question for us, let us know on Twitter using the hashtag CNET Live, and we'll try and get you a reply. But first, right now, we want to talk to Mr. Ayaz Akhtar. Hello. Uh, let's talk about all of the things related to smart home tech. What are some really solid holiday considerations that you have for the world of smart home gadgetry? Are you, are you done with that question yet? I'm just waiting for it. It's still trickling. And trickling. Done. Okay, so smart home stuff. Okay, I'm a big fan of the Amazon Echo Dot. Now, this thing's like 50 bucks. You can get it for $30 refurb. It's, just, it's really, really cheap. Get the refurb. Actually, $30. Now they still have it on sale, I think. You can yeah. get a five pack if you want. Anyway, so it's really, <laughs> I'm not even making that up. It's not gum. I well, mean, you can get it. Anyway, so it's really cheap. It's got tons of voice apps, which Amazon calls skills. And the Dot itself can play music from Amazon Prime Music or Amazon Music Unlimited. Spotify, so you're not stuck to Amazon if you don't want to be. The Dot isn't the best with audio quality, so if you want, you can hook it up to an external speaker. Or you can just get like the larger Echo, because that's got pretty good audio. And those things come in really handy. The Dot, the Alexa devices come in really handy if you have smart home accessories, like the Philips Hue bulbs, which I really love. Yeah. You guys know about these things? You like I've them? heard of them. Right, Tell so us about that. The Hue, the Hue bulbs are just a great way to get into smart home stuff. They're controlled by a hub and can be dimmed at using an app. There's also hue bulbs that change colors. So if you like mood lighting, if you want to match your, your wall to, to your horror movie you're watching, you know, if you're watching Nightmare on Elm Street, you can turn it to red. It's really pretty cool. And you can attach it to Alexa so you can tell it to change colors. And lastly, my favorite smart home gadget, it's really more of an accessory. It is the Logitech Harmony Companion. Now this thing is a universal remote control. So if you've got like more than one device attached to your television, like a Roku TV, or you have Roku, you have an Apple TV, Chromecast, whatever. If you've got all of these things attached to your TV, 
This thing makes it way easier to switch from activity to activity. It works with pretty much every device you could think of. And it turns every iOS and Android device you have into a remote. So if you want, yes. if you lose a remote, just find another device, there it goes. And it also integrates with Google Home and Amazon Echo, so you can start talking to it. I'd like to personally endorse that as well. I've been using Harmony uh, yeah. remote. I know. Well, you were like, why do you use stuff? <laughs> no, yeah, I have been using a Harmony remote for like a, 10 years or so, and they're fantastic. And if uh, this is your first chance to get one, highly recommend doing it. I've got a lot of consoles and a lot of like junk hooked up to my yeah. uh, my TV. Uh, and I've, you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt to like explain it to people when they come over. And you're like, well, it's just one remote. They're like looking, they're like, where's your volume? Where's it? No, it's everything, you know, consolidated into one. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan. Sign and now you can up. talk to it too? Like another thing to talk to? Yeah, I mean, you know, they've 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 evolved in a direction, but there's the the main core functionality, what it really does, the kind of like magic about mm -hmm. it, uh, that's the best part. I mean, do you have one or yeah, as well? I have, I have all of that stuff. So at home, my smart apartment anyway. Yeah. Like I usually get sidetracked. So I'll set up something on television. I'm ready to go. I go to the kitchen, start making a snack, and then I re realize I left the television on. So I'll just yell out, you know, Alexa, tell Harmony to pause. It pauses. Get to do what I'm doing. Then I go back. I sit down and I go, oh, I forgot to turn the lights off. I go, Alexa, turn off the lights, turn that to red. I get to sit, be lazy. I work really hard to be lazy at smart home stuff. You know, it does take a little bit of setup, but it's really fun when you get to, to sit there and enjoy. If you like sitting, I definitely. I mean, let's like be it. honest, smart home tech is designed for the lazy man. Yes. That's, that's its raison d'etre. And also be able to just talk to your TV or talk to your bulbs and, like, you're not like running around like in the old days, these Stone Age days where you're like, Flicking switches angrily. Yeah. I told son, I told you, turn off that light. He's been like, no, son. Alexa, turn off that light. <laughs> it's tough to show anger yeah. in those kind of situations. Although if Alexa doesn't hear you, yeah, you can hear the my son will yell at Alexa and go, Alexa, turn off my room. So you know what I just found out? I just found out you can change the Alexa uh, trigger word yes. yeah. to computer. Mm -hmm. That is way cooler. It's very Star Trek. Like computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Play this song for me, or like computer. What's the weather? But then you find out that you use the word computer a lot more <laughs> than you realized. Yeah, yeah but my uh, I have a dot, and my dot mishears me all the time. I'm saying something that sounds like Alexa a lot, I guess, yeah. but I haven't quite figured that one out. Well, okay. Every other TV commercial too is yeah, now invoking it for you. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so, I mean, w would you recommend an Alexa over a home? It depends. If you want to ask random weird inquiries. Alexa stinks at that, okay? If you want to have the, the, the device that has the most skills, Alexa has just been there for a long time. Yeah. Google's really trying to play catch up. Apple's got their device coming up. I wouldn't recommend that. I don't think, $400, right? You'd, you'd buy one of those. <laughs> Google Home Max, yeah. Home, home Max is $400 as well, but yeah. the Home is like about 130 and the Mini is about 20 uh, I would say get a dot if you're gonna have to pick one of the two right now because they're just so cheap and they yeah. work pretty well, I think. And they're connected to the most accessories right now. Cheapskate approved. Yeah. Big time. Oh yeah. Because it's so cheap. <laughs> Thirty bucks. I know, you can't go wrong. <laughs> I feel like they're basically free at this point. Just about. Because you know, we're all gonna have listening devices in our home, so might as well just give them away and you know. <laughs> Right. Don't think too much about that. <laughs> and every time I do it hurts just... my, my head. Um I as you you featured the light bulb stuff. Mm -hmm. Go into that a little bit because this is something I've yet to get on board with. I'm not convinced I need to speak to my lights, so why should I invest in this? Okay, so like I said, I have an apartment, and so painting things is probably not the best idea. Now, some of these colored light bulbs I have pointed at walls. Yeah. So if I want to, I can change the white walls to different colors. <laughs> now, that's way cheaper than hiring a painter or losing my security deposit or painting it myself because I'm not painting anything. But, but, but why? But Fred, why? Life is more color in your life. I don't know. More I guess, but like, what, can you give me? I'm curious. Okay, so like dimming lights. In yeah. Sp in spots that normally don't dim. Also, they're all LED based, so it right. doesn't cost that much money to run. Sure. Uh, talking to them. What in particular? If I'm doing like a podcast from home, if I want the lights to dim by 50%, instead of messing with dimmers, I literally can just ask it to do it. Can so you, all those lights turn up. Can you program lower. it to say, uh, 
uh, set the mood? <laughs> I think there's a couple of ways to do that. So if you want to get really weird with it, you can. Yeah. If you want to. Oh, I want to get weird with it. <laughs> I, I think you can do it. You just have to name the room something weird, like, you know, turn the boudoir to blue. <laughs> right. There you go. You can In do your that. studio apartment, you have a boudoir. <laughs> it's a one bedroom. No, I know. Loft. I'm, I'm kidding. My studio apartment. I have a studio in my apartment. No, I was, yeah, I was, I was joking about that. Um, so, what about like, uh, so what was the last product you talked about? So in the Harmony, we talked the about Harmony. the Yeah, the Harmony is just, just hard to do. Now, all three things that you've talked about, you could probably string together in a series of voice commands. Yeah, and the weird thing is if you don't have a dot, you can use the Harmony to control hue light bulbs at this point. Or you could just use your phone to control those two things. You don't need to have a dot. It's really if you just want to speak to these things. And if you have a Google Home, you can actually use Google Assistant on your phone. You can just talk to it instead of like yelling out, hey, Google, mm -hmm. or type to it because you don't, might not want to talk. You're not a very talkative person when it comes to speaking to your home, are you? No, in fact, we don't have any of these in my house because of like worries that the government will somehow use it against us. <laughs> Oh, it will. It's, oh, it will. It's, it's no question. It's a creepy vibe sometimes, but no, I like playing with them though here. But yeah. Uh, I before we move on to Twitter stuff, um, I find it very kind of soothing to just you know play uh, games with Alexa and sort of just like you know see what kind of a rabbit hole you can dig yourself into. <laughs> Forgot about that. There's That's Jeopardy the, on Alexa, which there's, is there's some fun to be had. You've got Jeopardy. You can say inspire me, and it'll give like an inspirational quote. It's, it's there's like like I said thousands. Maybe like tens of thousands of skills that Alexa yeah. has. I feel like you're talking about mind games, though. You're you're trying to play other kind of games. Well, yeah, I'm also trying to like constantly see if like Alexa is like sentient and sort of yeah. Like, can she tell you the meaning of life? Right, right. Like always and like secretly like also you know trying to manipulate her at the same time. Well, the worst thing is when you call it by the wrong name. I'll say, "Hey Google," and I'm like, "I'm talking to the Echo." I'm like, "Oh no." <laughs> oh wait, you have so you have both. I have way too many of these things. Why? Well, my brother gave me a bunch for gifts. He's like, okay. "Here's a bunch of dots." I'm like. Gotcha. I don't need three dots in my apartment. Mm. It's 600 square feet. Like, <laughs> yeah. They can all hear me, but they, sure. uh, the dot and the Google Home devices, they also have the ability that the nearest one will answer you. Not, they're not all answering you, which would be right. maddening. Yeah, that'd uh, be absolutely insane. Oh, and multi-room audio. Don't forget that, too. Uh, yeah, Amazon finally added that. Yeah, right, but deal. does the Google Home do that, too? Google Home did multi-room audio from day one, uh, I want right. to say. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about different streams coming from different rooms? So if you want to say, hey, play this song on all the Google Home devices gotcha. I have, you could do that. In Amazon, I think you have to go to the Alexa app group them mm -hmm. as one thing, and then you could say, play music in this group, and it'll do that. That mm -hmm. was something that's like kind of that taking on Sonos. Right. But it's, I don't still don't know if it's as easy as Sonos, but to get into multi-room audio, either one's a good start. So cheap. Mm -hmm. All right, Bridge is going to take us back to Twitter in just a second. Last thing I just want to say, if you go into the Alexa app on your phone, you can listen to every time you've spoken to Alexa. That'll freak you right out. <laughs> uh, anyway, take it away with Twitter stuff, Bridge. All what right, do you got? let's see. Uh, people are wondering, um, oh, a game question. This is a good one for you, I've, Jeff. I've, I can do that. Okay. Lay it on me. The PS4 Slim. Yeah. All right. Is this going to be something that's going to be good for the next four years or better to go with the PS4 Pro? I guess that, 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 that thought of uh, paying a little more for the, for the future proofing. That's a good question. Surprisingly. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, four years is like kind of like the you know, weird spot, right? Because I think for, I mean, in four years, there'll be another PlayStation. But um, I think if you're looking at investing in a PlayStation 4 Slim for the specific time frame of four years, that's probably not going to do it for you. Really? Yeah, especially if you're going to uh, own a, a 4K television at some point in your life. Mm. I mean, I, I don't think all that stuff is sort of cracked up, uh, you know, worth it at this point. But um, there is a lot of content that's coming out in 4K on PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, some of it actually looks pretty damn good. So if you think a 4K TV is going to be in your future and uh, you know, you're know you sort of like weighing the pros and cons, I would maybe wait a little bit for a Pro purchase, uh, maybe when it gets down to maybe $400. Uh, I'm sorry, $300 even because mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's four right now. But during the holidays right now, you could probably get it for around 350 So yeah, I think the Slim is maybe not the, the choice for right now. I mean, it is very cheap. You can get a lot of mileage out of that, but maybe you, know, you have a lot more to think about if you're specifically aiming for that four-year kind of sweet spot. Mm -hmm. So Does the VR work with the Slim as well? It will, yeah. yeah. The VR works with all the consoles, and uh, if you use it with the Pro, 
there are a couple of sort of uh, you know uh, fidelity improvement advantages you'll get. Uh, they're less uh, more obvious than um, than what you get on the actual pro with standard games. So that is something to consider as well. Okay. Uh, another gaming question. Oh, right, let's I mean, do it. Let me dig in. Let me dig my feet in. This is very here. generic. They're just like, do I get a gaming PC or do I buy a console? I guess. I guess oh. that's the eternal question. <laughs> well. Uh, it depends on what you're looking for. I mean, if you get a, if you're spending, you know, a couple hundred bucks on a gaming PC, you have a very large and seemingly infinite library of games to pl to be able to to play at your disposal. It's probably more sales right now on 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 laptops and PCs too. Yeah, you know. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily buy a laptop for gaming, um, but if you wanted to build like a thousand dollar PC, you yeah. will probably be very well served for, you know, I'd say the next three to five years. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're going to get a lot more mileage out of that. Uh, when you buy a console, you are locking yourself into a very kind of closed platform. Yeah. I think PS4 does a better job of, of opening its arms for, for more uh, variety and games and whatnot. But um, yeah, I mean, for me, I kind of play everything I can on PC. So we're that, gonna, we're, that hopefully answered the question. Yeah, well, there's another question. I don't know, Rick, if you've seen any deals on MacBooks, I know Black Friday, Cyber Monday, there was like so much, but people are wondering, is this now a good time to buy a MacBook, well, MacBook desktop is what they wrote. <laughs> I think they mean I think they an mean iMac. Mac. Yeah, I think, I think that's what they mean. Yeah, the MacBook um, desktop. But, but even so, like, I don't even know if, if uh, any Apple sales are, are hitting your, it's a tough one. You know, anytime I write about any Apple product at all, the, the response I get is, you call yourself a cheapskate? You know, yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't, True. it doesn't fit, right? They, yeah, they don't really go hand in hand. Yeah, so the, the, the one thing I do advise people always when you're shopping for Apple anything is to look for refurbs. Um, mm. And I mean specifically on the Apple site, mm. in their barely, you can find it at the bottom at a little tiny link, the uh, clearance uh, page where they sell refurbished gear. The beauty of that from Apple is that everything you buy refurbished from them has a full one-year warranty, same as new. Um, if it's a tablet or a phone, they give you a new battery, new outer casing, the whole thing. So right. it's literally as good as new, but very often for 10, 15, even 20% less than new. So that that's almost always going to be your best bet for anything Apple. Hmm. All right, that's not bad advice. All right, excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is mediocre, acceptable. No, it's just it's a very tough. It's a very tough thing to talk about Absolutely because when you talk about Apple and yeah, sales, and you're talking yeah. about oil and vinegar. Yeah. It's just not really a thing that that meshes. Yeah. Uh, all right, we have all of our top picks in our holiday buying guide. That's up on the site. Please go check that out. For now, we're going to take another break. But when we come back, we'll have more exclusives from Rick. We'll announce a few Sphero winners, and we're going to talk toys. Because you like toys, you're just a big kid like us. Stick around, we'll be right back. How are jurors selected? The answer may surprise you. I'm Dr. Jason Bull. I'm not a lawyer. I'm an expert in what's called trial science. I study the jury's behavioral patterns. We know what they're thinking from the beginning. Everything my team learns allows us to assemble a mirror jury that's scary in its predictive efficiency. We'll know what a jury's going to bring back. We'll know because that's what we do. Michael Weatherly is Bull, CBS Tuesdays. If you want change, be the change. SWAT strength is in the pack. Hold it down, I'm on my way. We move as one. Sometimes following the rules and doing what's right isn't always the same thing. <laughs> SWAT is about saving lives. Are you cops? Metro SWAT. So, like, cops, just cooler.
Hey, welcome back to CNET's Holiday Buyer's Guide. I'm Jeff Bacalar, joined by Bridget Carey, I is Akhtar, and the only guy cheaper than my great uncle Milton, Mr. Rick Broida. <laughs> We're taking your questions live. Just use the hashtag CNET Live on Twitter. And remember, if you want a chance to potentially be possibly, possibly, statistically speaking, uh, one of the 10 Sphero Mini Robot winners that we're giving away. Follow us on Twitter and tweet out at us using the hashtag CNET Holiday. That's one word. There's no purchase necessary, but you need to check out the rules at CNET.co it's just like slash holiday <laughs> rules. Don't worry, I'll tattoo it on my forehead for you so you can see the URL. That is commitment right there. Hachoo! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's well, how do, it works. Do it again. <laughs> no, I can't. It hurts. Only one time. Can yeah. Do that. Everyone gets one. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's pivot over to Ayaz. You got. You yeah, got, Rick. I got to ask you some more questions here. Like, well, more like one question. You got any more exclusive deals that we could check out? As a matter of fact, I do. Oh, good. Otherwise, we're screwed. <laughs> yeah, because we need to fill this. Huh? <laughs> I've got a lot, actually. We can we we need to cram some in here. So uh, first, let's talk audio. Uh, who, who's Spotify? Spotify user? Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what is it? You know Spotify? You get it for free. What do you mean I get it for free? What is, whoa, whoa, what does that mean? Just because I steal doesn't mean you gotta drag my laundry no, out here. I'm a Google Play guy. Okay, okay. that's I'm cool. I'm a weirdo. All yeah. right. Well, most people get Spotify and pay for it. Yeah. And if you're a Spotify user, uh, here's something you gotta have, okay? Does this remind you of anything? Uh, sh an iPod Shuffle. An iPod Shuffle, a blessed yeah. memory. Uh, yeah. So this is called the Mighty, and this is actually a standalone Disconnected, uh, although it does connect, but uh, it's a standalone Spotify player. Only so, Spotify? Just Spotify. What do you mean only Spotify? Oh, yeah. I'm too lazy. Only Spotify? <laughs> only all of the music ever? Um, the, the most I, popular I, streaming service? I still service? use Pandora. Who? <laughs> Pen, huh? Pandora. Oh, Pandora. there's Spotify now. No, that's, you can use that. That's adorable, but no, for, for grown-ups. Um, uh, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Way to insult your Woo! hosts. Woo! Um, so the, uh, it's fair though, it's So fair. the Mighty syncs with your, uh, with your Spotify account and all your playlists and everything. I think it holds up to like a thousand songs. And so you sync it over and then now you take it with you to the gym or you take it with you wherever. And it's got a little clip just like the Shuffle did and uh, simple controls and Bluetooth. So it can pair wirelessly, but it also has a headphone jack because some people like that. And uh, so the deal, normally the Mighty sells for uh, 86 bucks, but um, there's a special link that will appear uh, somewhere, hopefully right here, maybe? I don't know. Uh, if not, it's on uh, today's, <laughs> Just as a today's uh, Cheapskate post. Um, you can find the link to this. It is 73 bucks, and you just click through to that special uh, Mighty landing page, and you'll get it for 73 bucks. Great gift. That's yeah, pretty impressive. Like, like if you go to the gym and that falls on the treadmill, you don't mind that falling. Your phone <laughs> falling, you're like, oh uh, no. Exactly. It's it's the Spotify experience without your phone, hmm. basically. All right. I I have nothing bad to say. That sounds actually very <laughs> I useful. I feel like I'm waiting for something. No, I somewhere. got nothing in the tank. I, I think it's good. <laughs> okay. Actually, I've been talking to people. Everyone's talking about gifting Spotify, like gifting subscription services now because they yeah. don't know what else to give people. Right. And they're like, well, I can enhance your life. And maybe if anyone wants to gift me a Spotify subscription, clearly I can use one. <laughs> it's true. Thoughtfulness is dead. I know what, you, I know what I'm only, getting you. <laughs> we can only give away subscriptions. Services. <laughs> so for the Spotify user who has everything, yeah. get Mighty. There you go. Which is also the URL, by the way. Get Mighty. All right. What else is there? Okay. So um, let's. We were talking about the PlayStation. So let's talk about a Blu-ray player, okay. which is a thing still, apparently. A That's standalone Blu-ray player. A standalone yeah. Blu-ray player, and this is an LG uh, UP870. And it's being offered by uh, by Dig. It's normally 110 bucks, but you can nice get it for. Then. Let's see. What are we? What are they giving that away for today? For eighty bucks with coupon code Blue Ray Rick, because why not? You, you got your own. I got my own code, <sighs> and not the only one too. Rick. There's another one coming. So what's unique about this particular Blu-ray player is that it supports 4K. Oh, nice. So you bought a 4K TV. You're like, where do I get content for this thing? Now you can get some 4K Blu-ray discs. Look at it. It's got can, a back. It's got a back. Look yeah. at this thing. It's got, and a back. it's got a front and a back and two sides. What, and, if it, and if it needs to make a phone call, it's okay. <laughs> I think that's I, Ethernet. No. I, I, Play I all over my joke, Ayaz. We're trying to have some fun Just went here. over my head there. You know, I don't, 
I don't still deal with physical media myself. Yeah. I don't know if you guys do, but like apparently there's a lot of people out there who still I like do. their discs. No, yeah. you know what it is? I think like uh, we were having this conversation on a podcast a couple days ago. I think there are still enough people, for whatever reason, like Blu-ray has kind of resonated, maybe a, not in the same way DVD did, mm -hmm. uh, but like blue, people want to own like the Criterion and they want to own like they want the, their special features. You know, the highest resolution possible. And it's better than streaming quality for the most part. Well, it has to be, and right? Sometimes there's content you can't get streaming. Like I, right. I got The Tick, the 90 series on DVD as a gift, and I'm yeah. like, how do I play this? Because it's on disc, and it, my, I put it in my Blu-ray player, and it died because it was a PlayStation 3, which I never oh. use. Oh. And then I had to buy a Blu-ray player. Mm -hmm. right? And I'm like, that's a good deal. And of yeah. course, the PlayStation is a Blu-ray player, yes. uh, right? The but Xbox it One X will do 4K, right? But the, the PS4, PS4 will not, not do 4K. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you need a 4K Blu-ray player, here's a chance to get one for um, what did I say, 80 bucks? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. pretty damn good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Again, two for two. <laughs> We're really like six for Wait six. A yeah, thanks. Yeah. All right. One more before we uh, before we got to get to toys and Bridget. All right. So let's talk about power. Uh, everybody needs a charger when they're on the road, right? Mm -hmm. So this one from Rav Power. Uh, it's the Tower of Power, right? Oh. It kind of looks like sort of a chunky mobile charger, but this one has a special feature. Oh wow! It has an outlet That's built in, so cool. this can actually. This is like a twenty thousand milliamp uh, charger, which is surprisingly compact and surprisingly light. And it can actually power small appliances. So you really? can actually plug just about anything Your refrigerator? Into that. <laughs> small appliances. Oh. It looks like a thermos. Yeah. And so it also has a regular uh, smart USB port, of course, and a USB-C. Oh, yeah, here. Uh, so if you have a, a Type-C laptop, yeah. uh, you oh, yeah. can charge See. it from that. It does quick charging? Uh, it does quick charge. It does, does all the things. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is actually kind of a, a growing category now. I'm starting yeah. to see a lot more mobile mm -hmm. chargers that have an outlet built in because sometimes you just don't have the right cord whatever right. this is like great for people who are do, like doing outdoor like like things or even just like like storm prep oh you know you could take it camping with you honestly yeah. and you like you need to plug in a little fan a little light some sort of you know Smart whatever lights, of yeah exactly. yeah yeah the color changing kind because right. right. if you're gonna like you know be that out camp. there at least make it look good yeah absolutely so normally so this is brand new and actually normally this is this is 80 bucks which is a little pricey for a mobile charger but again outlet uh and with code Rick code. That's just like that. Rick code. Rick code. Uh, not Rick it's, code. Rick code. It's seventy dollars. So it's not a huge savings, but it's something. And uh, you know, again, pretty cool for a gift if you know somebody who is always looking for an outlet. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. The outlet is really like the deal maker right here. That is so freaking cool. All right, excellent. Uh, Bridget, is it my let, turn? Let's talk about <laughs> toys. Your desk. Starting to look like FAO Schwartz, so Pretty we much. might as well <laughs> see what you have to hear about some of the coolest gifts for kids this holiday season. Yeah, I, I, I've been kind of digging the whole like tech toy beat, I gotta say. And uh, have you seen these guys? No. This is, this is the you... hottest toy. Yeah. That's the hottest toy of the year right here. This That's little, it? It's called the Fingerlings. It's the, it's a monkey. I've even seen knockoffs already at the mall, just like random monkey for your finger. Uh, Fingerling? <laughs> like potato? Yeah, yeah Fingerlings. Oh. And yeah, uh, yeah they they have all these motion sensors in them, and every every kid's going crazy for them. They're, they that they retail for fifteen bucks. Uh, it has sensors for like set like hearing you talk to it or kiss it. Um, I just turned it off so it doesn't go crazy. But um, uh, I feel like all the tech toys now are I'll, I'll pass this along are all about um, uh, sensing your sound, your motion, so you talk to them, and they're getting rid of like the whole iPad and iPhone connected thing. Um, it's just strange. But yeah, you turn them on the back. There's a little switch. Does and, it scream uh, if I get too wild? If I start? Yeah, no. yeah. If you, if you flip them, you might go. <laughs> It'll puke. Does, does it make the R2D2 <laughs> sound? If it, like they have to license that. There's no way. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, well, there's all. Else. Okay, so there's another one. Uh, Love a Bella. I don't know if you've seen this baby doll robot, but it's a little bit on the woe side. I, I don't know. If I, I mean, some people might say creepy. Yeah. But yeah. Um, like so many, oh, creepy. so right. many um, nope. uh, ways to move and talk. So it, remember how the Furby, Furby learned, you know, the more you played with it, mm -hmm. the same thing starts talking more English the more you play with it. Uh, senses all these accessories that you're going to lose, like the baby bottle, like a pacifier, knows when you bring it to her lips mm -mm. and, and uh, has like five different places to tickle her. So yeah, now it's all about like making nope. it more and more 
realistic. No, no, no. no. That's a freaking demon baby. No. I've, I've seen a so demon wait, baby that gift, before. The gift you wanted to give somebody you hate? <laughs> yeah, I'm a it. demon baby. <laughs> it doesn't stop talking. A lot of these stories will just keep on talking. At least there's an off button. Um, and I'm telling you, you take the batteries out of that thing, it's still working. <laughs> <laughs> that is Uncanny possessed. Valley, right there. Possessed. Does his head spin around? I don't like how it's always surprised at everything. That was bothering <laughs> me a great deal. Can we burn that footage? Have you remember oh, this guy? Back. Oh, he's got yeah. screens oh, in his he's eyes. he's got weird yeah. eyes. So another one that is like a classic 80s toy that came back this year. Everyone's kind of going a little crazy with this one. I've seen it even sold for more on uh, from eBay for people just trying to find him. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's normally 100. But they took the same exact uh, stories from when I remember having Teddy. And of course, they made him lighter because he's a cassette player. You don't want it. No, you don't, don't want, want little, no, uh, no, uh, no. It's right. bothering Rick. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but uh, and, and they put animated eyes on him, and uh, now everyone who you know was a kid back then and has a kid again is like, I gotta have it for my kid. And I kind of fell in, you know in that trap a little bit myself. But uh, yeah, Teddy. Teddy now is hundred dollars. Teddy's back. Yeah, he, he, pr he press his pause and he starts he's, to sing. He's got some big eyes, Teddy. Yeah, does. yeah. lots of. Oh I'm my doing god. I'm doing it. Oh my god. <laughs> alright, alright. All right, go, Why is this the scary? I didn't realize this was like horror toys. <laughs> I just turned him off. Oh, there, there you go. Good. There's That's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now his eyes are all dilated. Yeah, I've never had a, a toy with empty eyes before, oh, but there you go. That's that's the future for you. Um, a little oh, more fun though. A little scary. more fun. All right, I, last I, one. This is one of my favorites though. It is the new R two D two from Spiro, oh, um, and it's normally like a hundred and eighty, but like it's a hundred dollars now on the website. Oh, wow. So uh, what you do is you, you connect it with your phone, okay. and this thing, if you if you can get it on the on the table here, it, it, it is so realistic with all the sounds. Um, if I just kind of oh, set him to go off. Oh, look at him go. Yeah, and he even does one where, if I think this is the one, where like he kind of has a flip out moment. Oh, <laughs> yes. look at yeah. that. So, uh, what, 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 yeah, what? he's got he's got the little leg that comes out. I mean, everyone everyone is gonna love this thing. Oh, cool! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh bye bye! <laughs> <laughs> Look, he killed himself. What so are you what's gonna the warranty do? on these? What, you, what can you say? Oh, no. so you can find him for. <laughs> hey, he's okay. Hey. Hey. He's okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, good old Doctor, R2. Doctor, you numbskull. <laughs> He'll be back for a sequel, I bet. That's not, he's seen worse. He's seen much worse. Uh, I think that one's gonna be another hot one this holiday. That's for sure with the movie. I guess he just wasn't liking the live show <laughs> that much. Uh, we have to take one last break. I promise, it's the last break. <laughs> but when we get back, we'll share a few more exclusive deals and announce more winners and give that little guy some CPR. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> My daddy was always saying to me, if you want things to change, get out there and be the change. If anyone can bridge the gap between that community and the police, it's you. The city where I fell to you. You and me, we got this. Together. The city where I SWAT. Thursdays or stream it live or on demand. You just saved a woman from being tortured. It's okay. I'm gonna take you home. I'd call that a good night's work. You can run, but you can't hide. Back home. Make it back home to us. We got this. Let's go, go! CBS Sundays. I have created the hub where people can submit and dissect evidence. When it comes to crime solving, we vet any evidence and then pull it up at the stroke of a key. A million minds. Real time, proud sourced crime solving. Are better than one. Two users. Have you seen this man? People want to be a part of something meaningful. They're doing it on their own. Get back! Police! You're under arrest. Wisdom of the Crowd, CBS Sundays.
Genius? Oh dear. Yeah. Growing up isn't an exact science. I saw one boy with a t-shirt that said, Fight me. Yeah, that's terrible. Young Sheldon, new comedy CBS Thursdays. Alright, thanks for sticking with us. This is the last block of our live show. Thanks for being a part of this whole magic day. My name is Jeff Bacalar, along with Bridget Carey, Aya Zaktar, and CNET's original cheapskate, the man who has literally never paid for anything his entire life, Mr. Rick Broida. <laughs> How that's do you a, know that? That's a big accomplishment, Mr. Broida. Alright, yeah. right, so we're gonna want to announce the potential winners <laughs> soon. But first, uh, we got some deals, I think. Uh, let's crank through. Okay, we got lots of bonus deals. This is a big bonus deal day, so let's just let's just get to these. So, you talked about the Echo Dot earlier, and yep. if you pair it with a speaker, now the Dot is suddenly like it's like a full size. It's the whole smart home thing. So louder. One speaker I have that would make a good match with the Echo Dot is this one from uh, Damson Audio, and uh, Damson is actually based in the UK, and they make some of the some of the, the finer audio gear out there. And um, so this is a portable Bluetooth speaker, and as you can see, it's kind of space agey. It's it's you know very nice looking, I think. And this would be just as home as at, at, this would be just as at home mm -hmm. uh, on a on a bookshelf uh, as it would be like something you take with you someplace because it's portable. Right. And the deal on the speaker normally it's uh, ninety dollars, but uh, you can get it. For a code that is TBD, I do not have the code. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> you gotta guess. You're it. gonna. <laughs> it's Rick something. I'm sure. <laughs> it's just. Rick. It's gonna be on your blog later. It will be. Okay. It will be on yeah, today's you're just cheapskate teasing post the cheapskate later. Blog. That's right. That's right. It, right. That's it. That's it. CNET.com/cheapskate. Uh, Sixty-seven fifty will be the price for this ninety-dollar uh, little speaker. So uh, again, a great match with the Echo Dot. Nice gift item. Well, speaking of Echo Dot, I just gotta say sorry to Lewis on Twitter at uh, Chief Gutmaster. Um, he says, that, and during the show, we keep activating his dot. With I apologize. How many, how many times we say the oh, A word? Oh, no. Alexa. Oh. Alexa. Oh. Oh. Alexa, buy everything you sell. <laughs> Sorry. Cancel. Cancel order. Angry emails coming. Okay, what else you got? Okay, so uh, Bridget, earlier you were talking about your phone and particularly uh, what happens to your phone over the course of a given day. Life with a one and a half year old is very interesting <laughs> when you have a smartphone you're worried I about. I just keep mine in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> Yeah. So as we've probably all heard or at least read, you know, your phone uh, picks up quite a lot of germs and other nasty stuff. Oh, it's full of poo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Every, well, everyone has, has poo particles in all their life and they don't even realize it. Oh, that's I different than like full of poo. <laughs> I wonder I mean. how many angry things we'll get for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, look it up. Look it up. It's, just, it's science. So what do you have? Little known science. So if you're concerned. So in there's 
If you're concerned about phone poo, uh, <laughs> as you should be, uh, this is called the phone soap. And actually, yeah, looks uh, like a big bar of soap, right? the best one for last. Okay, right. so this was actually a, a Shark Tank thing. Uh, okay. And actually, so this is a, a UV Can coffin for your phone. <laughs> Put your phone in, and it no. disinfects it. In no. just 10 minutes, no. your phone soap device will kill all germs on your phone. Yeah. I guess it's UV light, so you huh? just UV light, and you put it in, and, you can charge your phone. And you basically give it a tan. It's like a tanning bed for your phone. <laughs> That would be so cool. Okay. Put it in, it comes out a different color. All right, so normally uh, the phone soap runs $60, and with code CNET3, uh, mm -hmm. excuse me, CNET10, you can get it for $42. So it's a pretty substantial discount. 32? And actually, that code works site-wide, so it's 30% off everything that uh, phone soap offers right now. And, you know, if you're concerned about germs, and this time of year, the flu, it's going around, uh, put your phone in the phone soap and clean it. No, I, I, I would use it because okay. yeah. You would? Would you? I would. Well, I actually disinfect my phone every day. I'm just curious. How? It Clean sounds, it. it sounds like I'm, I'm a germaphobe, but my kid like is always putting her mouth on and grabbing it. I want to make sure she doesn't get sick, so okay. I just do a little spray of alcohol. I, this is all for like a good cause, right? Like you're, <laughs> you're, you're getting your phone clean and whatnot. I just, is there like a phone germ epidemic? Like, is, are people, like, getting sick? The world is just gross, you know, every, you I know. You studies like, all the time, like, your keyboard is, is dirtier than your toilet seat and yeah. your phone. And the same thing. And it's just sure. like, it sounds gross. It does. And if you have concerns but about that But I have an thing, immune system. Well, we have an immune system, right? right? But don't, so, don't be gross. <laughs> no, just, look, just don't be gross. You're better off doing that than just, you know, leaving it I, uncleansed, I, I guess. How many of you all using it on the toilet? We all know. It's a, it's a yeah, better... Yeah, but I don't like... Okay. Better safe than sorry, <laughs> better safe than sorry kind of thing, right? Totally. Yeah. Totally. totally. Yeah. You know, you get I'm sick. on board. It's okay. I'm on board. I'm on board. <laughs> you got something that Whoa. is Where'd cool. that come Here from? Here we go. All right. Not really a tech item, but you know, I actually yeah, could is. use a cup of coffee right about now. Yes. So if you like a single serve cup and you're not wild about the whole Keurig thing with the pods and the waste and all of that, uh, this is a Ninja single serve uh, coffee maker. It's the CF111, I believe. And over at uh, where, who does have this? Sorry, this is uh, Daily Steals. Uh, this is a hundred bucks. I think it's actually priced even higher than that uh, most other places. But they have it for seventy dollars with code DS5, and it will. You just has a permanent filter. You just put in a scoop of coffee, put your mug down, boop, you get your coffee. It froths the little milk. And it has a milk frother, That's which cool. you know what? I had never frothed any milk before, but my wife has actually made me a convert. Like, you put some froth milk on top really, of your coffee? Really, really classes up the joint. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. It's a thing. <laughs> and the frother, it's just right, zzz, right there. Yeah, froth. that's cool. Okay. You get your that's cool. Done. Yeah. And it looks cool, too. And it's got all these knobs and buttons, and mm. which is, we know, indicative of a good product. Of course. Lots of knobs of course, and yeah. buttons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what are we looking at? How how much? So that's uh, that's just uh, seventy bucks with the. I, uh oh, hang on. 70, am I right? Seventy it's bucks. Dropping? Seventy bucks. It's less. <laughs> but for a limited time, sixty nine ninety nine, just for you with code DS five over at Daily Steals. Okay. Very nice. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, no I pod think, waste. What's that? No pod waste. No pod waste. No pod waste. That is a huge epidemic. Yeah, it is. Uh, do we have time for one more? <laughs> Will you tell me? Yes, Do we, we have, have time, time for, for one, one more? more deal. Okay, let's let's talk home security a little bit. Okay. All right. So uh, these are get, these are going nuts right now. Everybody seems to want the home security camera, the Wi-Fi mm -hmm. camera, and this this is one of them. Uh, this is actually uh, from a company called Foscam, and this is the Amcrest Wi-Fi home security camera, and it tilts and it pivots and it zooms and it does the whole thing, and it can be controlled by your phone. You can send a live feed to your phone or your tablet or your computer or what have you. And normally this guy is 60 bucks, but uh, with the code that again will appear online because it's too weird for me to say it. <laughs> long and lots of letters and numbers, uh, it knocks it down to 50 bucks. Okay. So a little bit of a savings here. And again, the, the key takeaway here is that these cameras used to cost $100, $150, $200, mm -hmm. and a lot of them still do. Right. Uh, but, you know, it can detect motion. It can notify you if it senses anything. It can save video to the cloud. kind of does all the things. It's 50 bucks. So to deploy them around the house, Yeah, it's cheaper than bad. Amazon's, uh, you know, like everyone's going crazy with how cheap Amazon made, made their little cloud cam. And right. So, you know, this one's cheaper than this that. This one's cheaper than that. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks, Rick. All right. uh, we're going to do one more check-in with Twitter. Let's hear from the fine people in the Twitter world. Uh, Wesley wants to know, what's a good white elephant gift under $25? Hmm. I notice you're looking at me. <laughs> I, I mean, I've never played white elephant. It, 
I well, like my friends. It's like it's like that hat we were talking about earlier, where like you you, you don't want to spend a lot, but you know maybe you don't know if they'll like it or not, and you know yeah. This is the one right here. Yeah, yeah. Bluetooth yeah. beanie. Yeah. Is the is ultimate white elephant gift, right? Because <laughs> right. wait, so how does it work? Like the last person who gets swapped with everyone takes turns. Has to leave. Goes picks a present, opens it up. If the next person in line, next person in the order likes that gift, they steal it. That, that, is, that as, just cuts too deep. It's so man. fun. It's also so fun. Yankee swap. House. Also known as Yankee swap, and has a bunch of other names too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sure we can't say a lot of those names. <laughs> uh, all right, there you go. Thank you so much for being a part of that Twitter conversation. Let's toss it to Ayaz, who has some potential winners. That's right. It's time for us to announce the potential winners of our Sphero you, Mini Robot giveaway. A drum roll. Uh, no. no, I think that was enough. That okay. was good. That did, did it. Right. Now, I apologize if I butcher your Twitter handle. My name is Aya Zaktar, so I've got experience with this. <laughs> so we've got our potential winners are at Lindo De Maiz Jr., at DP Boyles, at Extraneous underscore T, at M1 Van 1, at Chip and Flint, at G Privateer, at PDX Outer, Outer at <laughs> Ryan Trange at my two bits and at Samson Steve. Samson Steve, if we mentioned your Twitter handle, congratulations. One of our CNF folks will be touching base with you over di Twitter's direct messages. So check your DMs, people. <laughs> Always check those DMs. <laughs> uh, all right. Just slide right into your DMs. Just yeah. slide right. No. <laughs> Hey, that's going to do it for us. Congrats to all the winners. A big thanks to Bridget and Ayaz, and of course, Rick Broider, thanks for flying out here, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you for it. having Round me. Round of applause for Rick Broider, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, you can check out Rick's deals all year long on his Cheapskate blog. That's right there. And uh, head over to the, our site, cnet.com, to check out our holiday gift guide as well. That is obviously still up and available. And thank you to you for hanging out with us. Have a very happy holiday season, and we'll see you next time. Lose. Shit, I'm gonna win. Oh, oh, oh shit! Spider Man! 28 times. We're in the CNET New York VR lab. A remarkable, dreamlike alien place. There's one. Wherever you are, that character will look at you and find you. Everyone has been affected by landmines in Angola. They would say, you know, this thing goes off, everybody dies. There's one particular comment that is burned into my brain. It sucks that it's just part of being a woman on the internet. Visítanos en CineT en Español. I didn't even read zombies. I read this tragedy happened. He was just trying to find his family. My main objective is to be a perfect companion. Why is this place becoming one of the world's first truly smart cities? Each level is a different moment in the process of winemaking. If you're about to buy or lease a new car, let's run down the checklist. The Bolt might just be the answer to your prayers. Pretty good. Welcome to Something Evil.